CSI net aspirants often ask about unit 9 preparation. What to study and from where to study for this unit. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanushri and today in this video I am going to talk about unit 9 important topics and reference books. Unit 9 Diversity of Life Forms This unit mainly focuses on taxonomic units and classification of plants, animals and microorganisms the different diverse forms of life. This unit comprises of six subunits which mainly consist of theoretical concepts. This unit is important as it carries an average weightage of 20 marks in the exam. And even you may expect questions requiring knowledge of mixed facts from this unit and ecology or evolution as well. For CSI net aspirants with a background in botany or zoology, this unit stands out as a valuable advantage. Additionally, the individuals from fields such as biotechnology, biochemistry, microbiology or others need not find the preparation challenging. As the unit primarily involves theoretical concepts and there is no requirement to cover every topic extensively. Selective study can be an effective strategy for mastering this unit. So let's have a look at the important topics from this unit. Subunit A is about principles and methods of taxonomy. Here you study about biological, morphological and phylogenetic species concept. Also you study about hierarchical sequence for classifying living organisms, biological nomenclature, classical and quantitative methods of taxonomy like phenetics, cladistics, simple matching coefficient, jacquard coefficient and many more. The topics I have written in red text are very important from exam point of view. These are those topics from where questions are asked frequently. On the other hand, there are certain topics which I have written in blue text. These topics are of medium importance. Questions can be asked sometimes from these topics. Then there are certain topics which I have written in black text. These topics are of least importance. Questions are asked rarely from these topics. From this particular subunit, questions asked are mainly statement based or figure based. Figure based questions are mainly asked on cladogram, where you need to identify monophyletic, paraphyletic or polyphyletic group. Question can be asked on plesomorphy or epomorphy as well. Also statement based questions on hierarchical sequence for classifying living organisms can be asked. They will give you a sequence and you have to find out the correct order. Moving over to subunit B which is about levels of structural organization. In this particular subunit you study about unicellular, colonial and multicellular forms. You study about the cellular tissue, organ, organ system level. You study about digestive system whether it is complete or incomplete, circulatory system, open or closed. So from exam point of view, this particular topic is very, very important. The questions are most frequently asked from this particular topic. Question can also be asked from comparative anatomy, adaptive radiation and adaptive modifications, but not very frequently. Usually the questions asked are match the following type. So they can give you the group and the morphological features so they can give you the group of plants like they can give moss and liverwort and they can give the features morphological features like uh, unicellular rhizoids multicellular rhizoids stomaton sporophyte dominant gametophyte and you have to find out the correct match coming to subunit c which is about outline classification of plants animals and microorganisms so here you study about the species group types like holotype, neotype, isotype. So here it is all about the important criteria used for classification in each taxon. And mainly the topics which are most important from exam point of view from where the questions are frequently asked are classification of plants, animals and microorganisms and evolutionary relationship among taxa. So from this particular subunit, you can expect statement based questions like they can mention the statements and they'll ask you that which of the following statement can describe uh, archaea bacteria or they can uh, 
give you the characteristics of important fungal group and you have to identify the fungal group from the options given and uh, even they can give you a correct set of uh, characterizing features of a certain class like Pisces and uh, even they can give you the options and ask you to find out that which option correctly represents organisms from a particular subphylum like hexapoda or myriapoda or any genera from plants. Subunit D is about natural history of Indian subcontinent. From this subunit only one topic is very very important that is about common Indian mammals and birds. Although here in this subunit you study about major habitat types of the subcontinent, geographical origins and migrations of species and even seasonality and phenology of subcontinent. But common Indian mammals and birds from here the questions are frequently asked like they can ask you about uh, they can frame the question statement based question like which of the following are the two endemic bird areas among the seven in the country and in the options they can mention western himalayas and indo gangetic plain or eastern himalayas and assam plains and so on from subunit e that is about organisms of health and agricultural importance here in this particular subunit the important topic is domestic animals and crops and uh, the, the topic of medium importance is common parasites and pathogens of humans. So from this particular subunit, you can expect a match the following type questions where they can mention certain food crops and the region of domestication and you have to choose the correct match. So particularly from this subunit, you have to mainly focus on domestic animals and crops and however, you can give a reading to the common parasites and pathogens of humans as well. Coming to subunit F which is about organisms of conservation concern and this particular subunit is common with the last subunit of unit 10 that is conservation biology. So if you are preparing this subunit, if you are preparing the last subunit of unit 10 you can skip this subunit from here and uh, here this particular subunit mainly focuses on rare endangered species conservation strategies. So even from exam point of view these topics are very very important. You can get a statement based questions or you can get a question match the following type question where they can give you the category and uh, also they can give you the plant and animal species and you have to find out which of the plant or animal species extinct or endangered, extinct in the wild, vulnerable or near threatened and so on. So you all can see that the six subunits of unit 9 are very are not very difficult. Only few topics are very very important from exam point of view. Coming to the study material that you can refer for this unit. You can refer plant systematics, theory and practice by Gurjaran Singh. Taxonomy, a text and reference book by Richard E. Blackwelder. And also you can refer this link to study the endangered, critically endangered or extinct or extinct in the wild species and so on. So with this I have come to an end of this video. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.